Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we're completing the day 13 of Advent of the Cyber Challenge. And our ob objective is to understand privilege escalation in Windows and then the techniques that we can use and also how you can exploit those uh, techniques. So make sure to launch your machine and you can have a remote console just like this, which fails. So I'm actually just RDP because RDP is more stable. And once you do that, we can go to the first question. What task are we supposed to be using here? We will be using all this information that they're saying here. So I encourage you to read this to actually find more information. First, we can enumerate the target on the, the users on the target by running net users. Complete the username P something. So I'm assuming it's a username that's already there. So let's open the command prompt by typing CMD. And then net users. There is a user that starts with P, and that's paper. That's what they wanted here. Looks like. All right. What is what is the OS version? According to what they say here, you can run the command system info, and then of course you can grab for the OS version. Or just system info, you, you see everything that you need. Just going to say system info here. So you can see all the system information. 10 dot zero dot whatever that build here so what exactly do they want from us down here or oh, they want the whole thing format it has a slash or oh, so they want this whole thing here all right let's see if we can copy and there we go that's the os version what backup service did you find running on the system so we can enumerate services that are running on the system by listing them from WMIC. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see all the services that are running. So if you look here from the results, we see that we have this imperious backup service and it says it's running. You can grab for this, but it's running from program file here. Okay, so it's imperious. And that word they've already given us up here. Okay, they just wanted the SVC name. All right, so moving on, what is the path of the executable for the backup service that you have identified? The path for the executable, if you look at the Imperius here, it's in this path. And submit, that is correct. Run where my command in the connection you have received on your attacking machine. What user do you have? So as you can see, <laughs> I've been doing it backwards. We're supposed to have a reverse shell. It doesn't matter anyway because we're already in the machine. But let's see here. Create a backup task. The task itself is not important. You need to set a backup path to documents. Set a destination. So let's set up a backup service. And backup. So items you want to backup. The documents file. Select uh, Maskiri Documents. Then you say OK. Set the destination here. That will be the desktop. And select Desktop. OK. Other processes, the other process tab is important. As you can see, this gives us the option to set program to run before uh, every backup. So other process, this one is the most important one. Is it a backup process with administrator privileges? Any program or external file configured here will run as administrator. So to exploit this, we create a batch script that we can run, right? The file will launch using netcat, so launch Notepad Editor and enter this right here. Okay, let's just launch Notepad. And enter that information. The only thing that we need is to make sure that we put our IP address here. Attack IP. And that's going to be my VPN. IPA. 10 to 
so this is the IP address that we're after. All right, now going back to my Remina. So file, service, desktop. So save it as evil.dat, bat, file type, all types, I think. So if we look at our desktop folder here, all right, we saved it um, as evil.bat, which is good. You can save the file and select it by enabling the run a program or open external file. So going back to our backup utility, check run program or external file, then select evil.bat open all right click ok and you should be able to see a backup named documents in the imperious dashboard okay so let's make sure that it's going to run as intended all right so now we can say next so here here's a backup job that we just created so now we just need to create a netcat listener on our main Kali linux system and they say to listen on 1337. All right. So once we do that, we, we just did step number four here. We should, the, the listener is now ready to accept the command. Say, run as a service. Right click on the document backup job that you created and select run backup as a service option. So our listener is there. Going back to here, right click, run backup as a service. This one. Yes, we would like to continue. Okay, so after a while, you see that the reverse show comes back. And if we look at our job, it actually finished with some errors. But that doesn't matter. We actually got a reverse show anyway. And running Who Am I on the new shell, we see that we are the Grinch. And we copy this. That's the answer for this one. What is the content of flag.txt file? Is flag.txt in here? So... We need to look for this flag.txt. Must be in the Grinch, maybe. Okay, it's in the Grinch's documents. So to view that, we just use the command type, and this is the flag as well. Okay. Last question. The Grinch forgot to delete a file where he kept notes about his schedule. Where, where can we find him at 5.30? So there's a file somewhere. Oh, here's schedule.txt. I thought we had to go and uh, find it somewhere. So at 5.30, we find him Jesus size. <laughs> okay. And that completes the challenge. So I kind of did it backwards, but hey, first time I was just running commands directly. After this, I had to get a reverse shell and you saw how we do it. If you like this, please like and subscribe. It's really important that YouTube knows that this content is good for everybody. And then I hope that you can tell others as well. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks for completing this with me.